hello friends today we are going to see our fourth chapter that is disaster management and we we are here going to see exercise of that first question what are the emergency contact numbers of the following we have to write here the emergency contact number of the following authorities first one is a police control room fire brigade ambulance and national level single emergency number of a disaster relief the numbers are as this police control room has a 100 fire brigade has a 101 ambulance is a 102 and national level single emergency number for a disaster relief is a 108 second question what first aid will you provide in the following situation first one is a dog bite what first aid have to provide when dog bite bite someone wash the wound with a solution of a potassium permanganate or a other antiseptic second one cover the wound with a clean and dry cloth get doctor's help on the injection of the anti rabies vaccine rabies is a disease which is happen due to dog bite okay next one scratches or a bleeding first make him sit or lie down comfortably keep the bleeding part of body above the level of heart and clean it with antiseptic soap and water next one burn what first aid will you provide after burns or scalds minor burn for minor burn the injured part should be washed with water or held under water give the victim water to drink clean the wounds using cotton swab soak in an antiseptic solution do not apply oily ointments cover wounds using dry dressing when there is a serious burn then the first aid treatment is a different which is give emotional support cover the wound with a sterilized cloth remove jewelry shoes etc if easily possible then do not touch or burst the blister on the skin and last one is a do not apply oily ointment okay next one for serious burn itself do not try to remove the cloth if it stuck to the burnt skin if the patient is conscious give water to drink but avoid tea or coffee or other stimulating drinks and final get medical aid at once next question snake bite for snake bite the first aid is wash the wound with water give emotional support to the patient tie a cloth tightly above the wound and last one is a get immediate medical help this is for sun uh, this is for snake bite now next one is a sun stroke first aid for sun stroke is take the patient to the cool place or in the shade sponge the whole body with a cold water then place a cloth soaked in cold water on the neck give plenty of water or liquid like sherbet to drink if the patient feels like vomiting make him lie prone that is on his or her abdomen with the head turned to one side and finally get medical help or shift the patient to the hospital this is the first aid for sunstroke next one floods okay now this question is regarding write the causes of the following causes of the following uh, they have given disasters and we have to write the causes for this disaster first one is a floods why flood happens we are going to see now excessive rains in some places river overflow its bank causing a flood 
the water drainage system in big cities falls short when there is a heavy rainfall resulting in choking of gutters and drainage lines water overflow onto the road and surrounding areas and even enters nearby houses that is a flood next one what causes the forest fires we are going to see here there are two types of causes for forest fires first one is a natural causes include lightning strike volcanic eruptions and very hot weather which can cause dry plants to catch fire on their own next one human activities forest fires are also happen due to human activities which are that activities human activity also play a big part with campfire left unattended thrown away cigarettes and arson being a major causes next landslides or building collapse what are the causes for this heavy rains earthquake deforestation and structural failure in buildings these are the causes for landslides or building collapse next question causes for storms the causes for storms are the formation of high and low air pressure belt in the atmosphere causes changes in a weather resulting in a strong winds or a storms next question earthquake now we are here going to see causes of earthquakes movement in the interior of the earth release tremendous amount of energy this causes seismic waves leading to movement of the earth surface like tremors shaking cracking up etc next such vibrations and quaking in the earth crust is known as earthquake it is believed that beside other causes man made causes like mining and construction of big dams can also lead to earthquakes okay next question ne next question is the fourth question answer the following questions first question in that what is meant by disaster what is meant by disasters the answer is a sudden event that causes large scale damage to life property and social aspects of a nation or society is called a disaster next question what are the types of disasters there are two types of disasters which are they first one is a natural disaster and second is a man made disaster events caused by natural processes such as earthquakes floods and cyclones these are natural disasters and event caused by human actions such as industrial accidents and fires these are man made disasters next question what is meant by disaster management let's see taking steps to prevent disaster making plans to face disasters and developing the capacity for that is called disaster management to prevent or to reduce damage caused by natural or man made disasters emergency these are meant by disaster management next question which are the main components of disaster management the question is just 
outside from uh, the answer is from outside your textbook just look at that the steps components of disaster management are mitigation mitigation mean taking steps to reduce the severity and impact of future disaster second one preparedness planning and preparing for a disaster before it occurs next one response actions taken during a disaster to save lives and prevent further damage recovery the process of returning to normalcy after a disaster including rebuilding and rehabilitation these are the components of disaster management next question the fifth one find out about the work of sarpamitra who are the sarpamitra let's see a sarpamitra is someone who helps protect snakes their main job is to rescue snakes from places where people live and move them safely back to their natural homes these people are sarpamitra and this is their job or work next find out what a first aid kit or a box contains have you seen the first aid kit which things in it these are the things which are they sterile gauze pads and adhesive bandages in various sizes antiseptic wipes and solutions medical tape scissors and tweezers pain relievers anti histamine for allergic reaction and disposable gloves these are the things which basically in first aid box the last question suggest remedial measures for dealing with natural or man made disaster first disaster is fire remedial measures for fire is install smoke detector keep fire extinguisher these are the remedial measures for fire second one is earthquake for earthquake earthquake secure heavy furniture and stay away from windows building collapse while building collapse regular structural uh, for building collapse we have to regular structural audit of a building that immediate evacuation at the first sign of structural distress then deluge that is flood for flood move to higher ground avoid flood waters and keep an emergency kit ready road accident while road accident follow traffic rules first of all then wear seat belts and avoid distracted or drink and drive the next one is a storm in case of a storm secure loose object outdoors stay indoors and stay informed through weather updates these are the precaution we can take uh, uh, at the time of these disasters then next one is a tsunami in case of a tsunami if in a coastal area after an earthquake immediately move to higher ground draft for draft conserve water practice rain water harvesting and use a water efficient appliances the last one is a land slide be aware of a warning signs like soil cracks and leaning trees evacuate high risk areas okay friends here we have finished the exercise of fourth chapter which is disaster management we will meet in a further exercise video 
टिल देन बाय